Welcome back friends, after having uh, an understanding about advertising and support, support media, let us have a glimpse of media planning for two sessions now and this section I would be focusing specifically on the choice of media planning kind of thing basically and do not uh, somehow take it as a redundant aspect of what we discussed in integrated marketing communication plan that is a larger thing basically a very elaborate kind of a document and a plan perspective. This section would specifically focus on the choice of media largely because this element brings in rationality to the costs we spend and the reachability we desire for and that is why media planning has a concentration on reach and frequency when we talk about several kinds of modes and we have been talking about it briefly as in, in, in different sections as well. So, let us begin our journey for understanding what is media planning. You see it is actually it refers to a series of decisions required in an effort to deliver the advertisement message to a large target audience in an effective manner at low cost. As I said it talks about cost and effectiveness and then it involves setting certain media objectives and strategies to accomplish the predetermined business or advertising objectives. Take it as a very specific portion of what we discussed earlier in IMC plan, but remember that while discussing this portion we have to bear a consonance with the complete IMC plan which we discussed earlier. So, here also we would be referring to objectives, here also we would be referring to situation analysis, here also we would be referring to other elements, but here the focus would be on the choice of media. So, do not think that it is repetitive, but always while discussing in terms of media plan remember that we are focusing on a ready message with us, a target audience in mind and an imagination about several choices we have in front of us, which one to choose, how far to go with that choice, what kind of a combination with other media choices, to what extent and so on. So, that is how we have to think about this and that is where the goal of media planning is to formulate a particular combination of media, vehicle or means of message delivery system that would enable the advertiser to communicate the message effectively. To what extent we would be using one particular available mode and vehicle within that mode. So, that is the point of concentration here and, and you know commonly called as 5 W's of media planning, when, what, whom, where, which and so on. Now, these W's can be uh, a part of other plans as well which we have referred to, but as I said just focus on the choices elements now. And here are some of the activities which are involved in media planning and media strategy. As I said there in IMC planning we were doing situation analysis with so many elements into consideration. Here we are focusing upon situation analysis with reference to the carriers we have in front of us and when there we talked about the competition, we were talking about the competition with reference to the kinds of messages the competition would be throwing at our, our target or the similar audience which we are targeting and here we would be referring to competition with the choice of the same media that is where uh, the most important uh, you know comparison comes in. So, then is you know after conducting a situation analysis formulating a marketing strategy, advertising strategy which is broadly and you know it emanates from IMC plan and 
then you have specific media objectives and this is one of the most important element determination of media strategy which yields selection of media. Now, when we talk about determination of media strategy, let me spend few seconds on this basically. You see, it is all about comparison combinations and of course, with an objective perspective that you would gain the attention of the target customer more through this media. In last section, when we talked about head and shoulders and we discussed how they printed you know a black page and a white page in a newspaper in print advertising. So, that clearly suggests that the type of advertisement or the creativity associated with the advertisement also compels us to think in terms of what kind of a media we would be choosing. Because there you want people to rub their scalp and you know see if dandruff is coming out on that black page. So, you have to uh, use print media and that is where you know media strategy comes into uh, play. But when we were referring to Amul using outdoor, so there a different kind of a media strategy was associated with the time, the, the era as well as the kind of you know creativity associated with as far as Amul advertisement goes. And in today's world, wherein lots of complementarity in amongst the media uh, uh, you know choices is there. So, apart from getting compelled by the creative elements, we have comparison of our competitors choices in terms of media. There are two elements, should we be choosing the same media as our competitors do and if not, then would we be losing something basically. Yes, of course, we might be losing the target we are focusing upon because one target is being focused upon two people simultaneously. Remember Huggies and Pampers and Coke and Pepsi and Compline and Horlicks and so on, we have talked about this earlier. So, if you are not there where a competitor is there, then you might lose on something. So, uh, competitor and then comparison in terms of size, if you are talking of print media, in terms of time, if you are talking of uh, television in terms of you know other elements if you are talking of internet and mobile and so on. So, that is where media strategy comes in comparison and combinations. So, you have to simultaneously compare yourself and generate combinations how you would you know combine the available modes we will keep talking about this uh, further while we should be looking at the factors affecting media planning. Here also you would find some commonality between integrated marketing communication plan and the factors here. But let us look at these for example, if we are talking of nature of product while thinking in terms of media uh, uh, planning, then definitely you see if, if uh, it is a product which has a higher price, then definitely a particular kind of a choice of a media which can gain larger attention for our product would be more important for us at, uh, at that point of time and, and definitely cost, uh, cost considerations have to be there, but uh, we want larger attention to push up the sales for example, cars and automotives. Magazine spreads they utilize the companies utilize that space for automotive advertising in specially uh, you know in uh, you know, specific targeted magazines. Uh, double spreads they use. Why? Because there you can watch the features of that car, you can read about that car at a at a length. If you print that advertisement in a newspaper, definitely it will gain attention, but people might not stop that long to read about that particular car. So, it, it all depends. Now, if you have a 5 rupees or 10 rupees pen you might not like to go for a double spread advertisement in as far as magazines go. So, you see the nature of product also is a, uh, is, is a directive towards the choice of media, it directs it. Nature of customers obviously, we, we should not be going for deeper explanation on this, we have talked about this at length. Then distribution of product, if you want to distribute your product to specific pockets then going for a larger mass media. Would, would not only be detrimental, 
but might create a space for your competitor as such. I remember there was uh, a detergent which was still being in an initial phase of its launch wherein distribution was not so prominent and the organization came up with a large mass media based advertising and uh, they chose almost every combination which they had in their eyes assuming that soon they would be producing large quantums of that detergent and somehow they could not and that created the space for other competitors because somehow demand got up and they could not supply which became detrimental for their product itself. I remember there and, and one of the electronics uh, companies uh, their marketing head uh, in, uh, in initial most phases of the launch of that uh, their television uh, when I asked them that why you are not using mass media. So, he said that still we are not producing for whole of the country as such and so and that was early uh, you know uh, I think uh, early 2000 something when I was discussing this with him and he said that uh, the day we produce for everyone we will go for mass media because otherwise it will not be you know people would uh, start asking for the product and they would not find the product as such. And those days uh, just to uh, mention that uh, online purchase platforms were not so common. So, advertising objectives we have talked about earlier as well. So, uh, just skip these for a while nature of message we have been uh, pondering upon at length and size of ad budget this we have talked in detail. Media used by competitors as I mentioned comparison and combination. So, that is uh, definitely there, but as I said should we be going for the same or not this should always be the question. Media availability now this is very important when we talk of media planning and why is it important? because of the of the fact that during particular seasons it is not up to your choice that you find space or time or uh, you know when you book for that. So, so and if you are planning much in advance you do not know how the market situation would be. So, as I said when you are planning uh, in terms of integrated marketing communication at large so that definitely has to precede media planning, but uh, this must uh, be done within a suitable kind of a period so that you can easily book that space and time otherwise uh, there there would be uh, price variation or you might not gain that kind of a uh, you know availability of space or time if as per your requirement reach and coverage definitely so what what kind of uh, media options would be having particular kind of a reach and uh, uh, and uh, language plays a particular kind of a role uh, when we are talking of uh, Hindi speaking belt for example. So, people focus upon Hindi newspapers more as compared to other options because people like to read those and so on. So, so uh, that is frequency should you be going for small time uh, you know 10 second advertisements on television very very frequently throughout the day. Should you be going for a 30 seconds or 60 seconds clippings after every one hour or so. Should you be going for small space colored advertisements on the third page of a newspaper every time you go for you know every day more or less or you should be going for one full page advertisement uh, or on a, on a pseudo front page or let us say a half page advertisement on third page or a back page kind of and then stop for a while and then, then go back. What are the considerations you have in mind while going for this cost should be left aside because that definitely is a basic consideration. But then what are the elements which compel you to think about these kind of things and that is where you know uh, frequency reach size and those kind of things they come in. So, and then discounts offered by media uh, options that definitely you know how, how well you uh, negotiate about uh, in terms of the price and so on. So, steps involved in media planning process market analysis, IMC planning also there is a consideration in terms of market analysis, but here when you say market analysis you are keeping in mind the uh, fact that choice of a particular media would support your distribution and your reach to the customer. So, that is the main consideration and definitely it should gel with as far as your target 
customer goes. So, you see every media plan begins with the market and environmental analysis and you might be wondering uh, at this particular stage that is it the same market analysis we do in IMC, uh, IMC planning? It is similar to that or I should say that when we are doing that market analysis or market analysis in consideration to uh, you know develop an uh, IMC plan, same time we use similar kind of market analysis elements for developing the media plan as such. Here I must tell you that there are number of teams work working on integrated marketing communication plan and media planning team is an you know expert team associated with the uh, specific media vehicles or let us say several kinds of combinations and they, they know about the aspects of reach, they know about the aspects of effectiveness, they have data related to how media vehicles or, or uh, different medias have been performing, especially in with reference to the case they are dealing with the product they are dealing with. So, they have all the intelligence associated with that kind of a particular precise performance. So, they can utilize the similar market analysis which we have been doing for larger integrated marketing communication plan to use its elements here. So, do not do not take it as a redundant step repeatedly I am saying here. So, market analysis includes identification of target audience you have already done that. Are you reaching to the target audience now? that is the consideration. So, uh, the choice of media can only decide if, if you are doing that and you see in terms of demographic characteristics. So, for example, you are targeting a particular kind of a product targeted to youth. Now, that youth as per the understanding or the surveys or the feedback reads a reads newspaper for example. Now, which page might they be uh, reading more or which page they might be stopping at more. That is the point of consideration and that is where media planning uh, expertise comes in. So, many a times we realize that youth of a particular age they spend more time on sports pages for example. So, then if a product is targeted at them and a message is targeted at them. So, while generating IMC plan we focus on the sports page and this is the job of as far as media planners go. Sports page of which newspapers that is what again they have to decide. So, if the youth is related to uh, Hindi speaking belt and they read Hindi newspaper. So, definitely sports page of a Hindi newspaper that is how things would be done and then, then which kind of programs they are watching. So, and then is, is there uh, you know a gender relationship associated with that. So, what kind of things they are focusing upon and so on. For example, advertisers of particular newspapers like iNext which are uh, iNext as you know is India's first bilingual daily. So, uh, you know so iNext audience or our readership is uh, focused and, and uh, the advertisers related to that readership focus upon uh, iNext as their media choice. So, that is how things are done and you know while making media plan the media planner must consider internal and external factors then can, that can affect media planning as we have been talking of. So, this is largely the picture which we have referred to in market analysis, target audience, factors affecting media planning, geographical area. Then there is an element of consideration in terms of message distribution. Distribution of message to the audience in uh, you know and, and media planning process. So, then it includes the decision upon the number of messages and the frequency as we have talked about earlier as well. And you see here media planners should decide whether a single message is sufficient or there should be a several repetitions of message and then I talked about this in terms of size uh, or time of advertisement to, to uh, elaborate upon the uh, reach frequency uh, kind of a combination which one generates through media planning. But this particular thing which I am mentioning here in terms of message distribution that is one message should uh, you know be enough that also encompasses the creativity associated with that message or the requirement of the message in terms of the uh, kind of uh, period you uh, want to you know address through that message. For example, you have a very specific three day sales. For example, uh, you are going for an extended waiting list of uh, admissions 
into a particular course by a university and a college. So, one message would be enough and then there are several such kinds of uh, you know things which are uh, related to uh, the choice of one message or multiple message and so on. Media planner also have to calculate the total message weight of the campaign and so on and, and uh, you see uh, that that is again we have talked about when we were talking about the evaluation and we will be mentioning that here as well. So, uh, this, this evaluation criteria has to be fixed upon because by every choice you want a particular kind of a return and uh, that has to be associated with the weights you allocate that is your objectives and the fulfillment of those objectives as far as the choice of media goes. Some media are chosen only because you want to generate awareness, some media are chosen because you want the sales to move ahead, some media are chosen for some other reason and so on. Then further you know for selecting appropriate media, different media are compared on the basis of cost per reader, cost per viewer media image etcetera. Now, you see uh, it is very important for us to understand that uh, for example, in case of newspapers it is not, not just the you know purchase or the sales of newspaper which matters, it is the readership of the newspaper which matters and here I should mention one or two important elements for you to further ponder upon. For example, uh, Indian newspaper society you know they are one of the organizations who work upon generating data on this. Audit Bureau of Circulations is also one of those organizations which generate uh, data and which conducts surveys on uh, you know how uh, print media or different uh, you know uh, medias are working uh, related to them. And there are uh, several surveys which are being conducted in case of different media uh, by different organizations and those surveys are uh, taken uh, very seriously by advertisers because those surveys they have that kind of uh, you know an intensity and uh, depth and uh, they are done meticulously. For example, national leadership survey is done mostly in urban uh, parts of uh, the country. Uh, it has a particular kind of a frequency, a, a particular level uh, of sample is chosen and that survey uh, looks into what kinds of readers are reading, how many readers are reading one copy of the newspaper in urban areas and uh, which newspaper is performing or which magazine is performing uh, what way. Indian readership survey is done in uh, rural as well as urban areas and it is one of the largest surveys conducted in uh, you know for uh, medias in the world and uh, that is you know that also gives very pertinent information about you know which kind of a reader for example, you can you can draw that kind of conclusions from these kind of surveys wherein which kind of a reader is sticking to which kind of a page to what extent for example. Now, that gives you a wonderful insight wherein uh, you know to, to position your particular advertisement because the larger uh, the readership and the, the longer is the time you retain the readership on that particular particular page or particular number of pages which wherein you are advertising. So, that will definitely return your money back in terms of the sales or the objectives you have decided. So, you see these surveys or the other different evaluative methodologies, they give us a very strong perspective on as far as uh, cost element of readership or viewership or so on. And uh, th that is an important thing for us to realize that largely messaging or communication is and, and the especially in terms of you know mass media which we are referring to here in terms of television or newspaper I have been talking about that earlier as well is more or less a one way process. And it if it is it is directed towards generating recall then it is not always easy for one to analyze that what kind of a recall and awareness it has generated until unless you talk to the customers or readers you have gone through. So, these kind of surveys they enable you to assess that to an extent and that is what we should be focusing upon and, and then there are several other elements you know the advertiser should ensure that media matches with the features of the target audience. The uh, you know selected media should match with message requirements and uh, you know while selecting suitable media availability of media should also be kept in mind and we have talked about that earlier as well. So, then you see there are some pertinent 
aspects of you know by combining different media advertiser can increase coverage and improve the chances of achieving advertising goals and that is precisely you know uh, as I said comparison and combinations. So, now I would be uh, taking you towards very specific elements of uh, you know scheduling actually and, and rest we have largely touched upon. So, you can send in your queries if you want further details about as far as media choices go. So, you see scheduling includes decisions regarding date or time. Now, partially we have touched upon this, but, but uh, why specific mention of because when you are developing a media plan you have to be very precise. In June you are analyzing about Diwali for example. So, Diwali is a date specific kind of an event. So, what kind of a message you would be sending in on for Dhanteras and what kind of a message you would be sending in for Diwali precisely? What kind of a shoppers would go to shop precisely on the day of Diwali? Would they be going for online and offline and or should you be thinking in terms of pre Diwali only? And if they at all would be focusing upon post Diwali as well. So, th this, this whole lot of a scheduling is very important because then only you would be able to book that space or time or, or you would be able to precisely be in time in front of the customer when actually he has that particular requirement in mind. So, that is the importance of scheduling to mark the complete thing and that actually enables you to avoid any confusion on your part as well, redundancy on your part as well. And plus scheduling is the only tool largely which actually effectively avoids you know cost escalation because that brings in rationality of media choice as far as the whole scenario goes. So, purpose of media scheduling is to issue advertisements at appropriate time and appropriate frequency so that target audience on the can be contacted at minimum advertising cost. Now, you see when we talk of uh, uh, media planning largely we must evaluate that how effective was our media plan. And as I said effectiveness is associated with the returns against the cost we have allocated to as far as the media choices go. But there is one thing apart from that which media planners they fo keep on focusing upon time and again the combination factor, how much to increase as far as the weight to one particular media goes. Is it a formula which sustains itself or it is related to time, season and behavioral change of customers or it is associated somehow with product life cycle or it is related to somehow the seasonal or demographic or any other sort of effect on the media itself. So, this kind of a particular thought process wherein several kinds of combinations are being made partially tested, retested, reconfirmed or reshaped at the end of the day that is complete combination is reshaped that is what you know uh, evaluation is all about. Because at the end of the day it is always the rationality which would derive the best out of a media plan. So, focus on this keyword rationality and I will be talking to you about other elements of media planning, especially some key concepts associated with media planning in the subsequent session. Thank you, goodbye for now.